Hi, I'm back. I'm Jill, Copycat Crafts by Jill. Good morning. It's pretty early. It's just getting light. Uh, I thought I'd give everyone a update or catch up video. I just put these here so that you don't have to look at an empty place, but um, I'm not going to be crafting today. And I will explain why. Uh, anyone who has uh, went and looked at my Hank update, as you know, we lost Hank a couple days ago now. Hank is our cat, so for anyone who doesn't know that. Um, so Hank passed away a couple days ago, and before we even got to catch our breath from that, one of our other cats, Walter... You may have heard me mention Walter's name time and again. Uh, Walter, for the past three years, has uh, a digestive colon issue. He has been on prescribed medication for the past three years for it. Um, well, he kind of started going downhill and we had to take him to the vet. So we spent uh, yesterday, all day yesterday at the vet. We did get to bring him home and he's going to pull through. <laughs> but uh, it was just another layer into, on top of, I should say, what has been a really trying week for us. Uh, and then the third part of that is we had changed to cat foods. Um, we thought we would buy better cat food, dry cat food. My cats get wet cat food, canned cat food, twice a day, morning and evening. But we have dry food out. And we wanted to do better and get a, a more quality dry cat food, which we did. And uh, because uh, one of our cats suffers from allergies, we thought it was from the cat food. Well, it was from the original cat food. So when we got the new cat food, we swapped it over. That set in a chain of reactions. One with, with Walter, but two with the all the other cats. We are now in a struggle of... I'm just trying to find a more sensitive or couth way of putting it. <laughs> For the cats. Um, constipation. I have never in all the years, what, 15 years of cat ownership have we ever had one incident set off a chain reaction like buying a very expensive cat food and having this happen. <laughs> um, we're trying to keep a sense of humor about it so we aren't just sinking in this. But um, this has just been extremely trying and, um, and expensive. <laughs> um, so for the next couple days... Uh, I feel I need to be there and I have to really stay on top of their conditions <laughs> uh, until we get everything straightened out. Um, so I do apologize. Once again, this this year I have found myself apologizing more than probably the whole past part of my life. Um, this just 
has been extremely uh, not a great year. So anyway, we are going to get through this. But in the meantime, I'm, I, I just can't get my mental state in the right place to enjoy any of the crafts I do. Journal making, sewing, crocheting, nothing. I just mentally cannot take on projects or anything. Um, we're hoping we can get everyone straightened out, back on a normal eating schedule, back on normal bathroom schedules <laughs> for them. Um, but until then, I have to make sure that I know who's doing what and when. Um, so in the meantime, I am sorry. Uh, normally I would never, n just I just never leave in the middle of a project, but right now that's what I'm doing. So I do apologize and I do appreciate all the positive and kind comments. All they're just, they are what has helped me get this far in, in this, uh, cause this has just seemed to steamroll through our lives and <laughs> like a snowball down the hill, it just grew and grew and grew. So until I can deal with all that and get all that situated and straightened out, um, I have to put this aside for a, a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be a couple days, a couple weeks. Um, I don't know. We're very frazzled. So I can barely think straight. <laughs> so um, in the meantime, I, I just wanted to thank everyone. I've read all the comments. I have, especially over Hank, I just have had a hard time uh, replying to any of them. I have read them all. I do thank you for leaving the comments. It, it, I just can't even tell you how much it means to me. It just has made my heart melt to know that uh, you understand and uh, aren't holding it against me. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to give everyone a catch up video and I guess that's it. Uh, Gonna stay positive, gonna get through this. Uh, in the meantime, you guys stay creative and hugs.